Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, what I'm going to cover is how to access the Azure AD B2C users details or even manipulate or manage the users using the Graph API. This is the continuation of one of the previous uh, big topic. So I will tell you why you might need this and uh, why it is very useful to know and come, let's get started. So I'm going to show you a demo using an application that I've created and the application has already been uploaded to the repository and this is the URL. Okay, so don't worry about the code. You just need to make few little configuration changes once you download this code by looking at the video that you will learn in this. All right, so now, as I said, uh, this is the uh, these are the videos that we would have seen and this is the complete video So the one that you're going to watch is the continuation of this So basically once you set up this as your adb to c for your angular application In order to access the or manage the users, you know Programmatically you can do so by using the graph api and that is what we are going to see today So without delay come let's take a look all right, so if you download the code and if you run the application locally, it is going to display this. OK, so basically you can get all the information from the website. So I'm going to enlarge it so you can see it better. So this is the topic for you know, querying the Azure Active Directory B2C using Graph API. So these are the various options that are available in the code. So it's to get all the users, get by object ID or by a name. You can even delete the user using the object ID. You can update the password of the user create users and so a lot, lot of things okay so let me enter one it is trying to get all the users currently present in the in the in the user section of this particular uh, you know learn smart coding uh, directory okay so what is it doing so this is the app right so in the app if you see if you go to the app settings or json there are only four things the tenant id the app id the client secret and then the these are the three important things and basically user file name is the one which is a static json file which will have the user information so let's take a look at the portal so once you go to this portal okay you just need to go to the azure adb to see so these uh, you would have already seen in the demo okay so the, from here only it is it is trying to collect it so if you look at this uh, data right in data it will tell you the object id the name and no, uh, so many things so it will have other uh, sign in types and all the different information for each user so what i'm going to do is using the name i'm going to fetch the information so which is number three so if i go and uh, you know copy the name of from any of these three things okay so we should be able to get the details but uh, let's take a look at the sixth one. So sixth one is basically the bulk import. OK, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, it is going to run the code and it has created a couple of users. So from where these users were created, if you go to the data and under the users.json file, so you will have the user data uh, that I've already filled in. The user data is basically an array of, uh, you know, object details. So each object will have different types of users that I've filled in. One, you can see the sign type as email address. The other one, you can see the federated one. And then the issue will be the Facebook or Google and, you know, so many different uh, things. So you will see once we execute this, which we already did. I will show you in the portal how these users are created. Okay, so that's how the number six works. So if I enter one, see whatever users that was created that all started appearing uh, earlier it was only three right so now whatever users the new users that we created i think three or four users that we created started appearing all right so let's let's go to the azure dot uh, uh you know portal dot azure dot com and then go to the specific uh adb to see see the users that i have everybody is here okay so you created programmatically the users and then the users started appearing if these user email ids were all real people will be able to access your application like a, a regular user that how you signed up using the other one all right so now i can also enter uh, number three and give the email address it will also you know fetch the information so those logic is already there present in each method don't worry about the code and uh, let's press number two and you can actually uh, provide an object id so if you provide the object id 
you know then it will go and fetch based on the object id that you have provided so right now you see there was an exception because there was no such object id all right so i just gave you a demo like if you uh, you can actually modify this code to support this uh, object reference error so i will show you how it is so you see this i have a couple of directories and i'm actually logged into this learn smart coding directory okay not the regular one that's why you can see that in the black color if you see my previous video i will tell you why the colors has been changed to modify so here if you go to this azure adb to c and go to the app registration okay so you have to click on the new app registration and we are going to create the new app registration so i'm going to name this as graph api and under the supported account type this is very protected one so you have to choose the first one accounts in the organization directory only not the other two options okay this is a single tenant application so don't click on the admin check-in and then you just create the uh, the app registration app registration is done no more information you need to provide in the app registration section now what you need to do is you have to go to this api permission and so far what we have done is providing the api permission for my apis but here you have to choose the first one which is microsoft graph and then choose the application permission and here you need to look for something called directory so basically directory under directory only you will have the users data uh, you know uh, available so you need to have access to this directory read see once you provide those two click on this grand admin concern and then all these things that you selected the directory read access will be provided to this application the next thing that you have to do is go to this uh, certificate and secret and create a new secret okay so give a description and you can provide the expiry date of the secret uh, the recommended is minimum of six months i believe uh, you know you can choose whatever it is it's just a simple demo but understand why this is required a secret has to be rotated on every single uh, six month or three months basis so that one same key is not sitting there for a long time that's why okay once you are done here don't forget to copy the value and the secret id okay so this is required i have already copied it so now you have the the secret value here and then the secret id here and then go back to the overview and the new app registration that you did right so that is the application which is the client id so copy that as well you can see the complete endpoint if you click on endpoint button all right let's go back to the application let's go to this app settings and you see this you need to replace the tenant id of your one okay whatever you have done right something something dot microsoft dot com similarly the app id which is the client id that we just copied right so you need to put that app id here and then the secret the secret is the one the the client id okay the secret is the one that you copied from the secret so that's the client secret so once you put that all these three information you're done once you run this application it will definitely work okay so don't forget to register an app registration properly you have to choose a single tenant the first option do not check the admin consent on that page and then further thing is just to create the uh, access to the uh, you know the directory apis and then you can also add the secret and then configure those things in this application and that's it everything will work so the demo that you're seeing right now is the number five that you can change actually the user's uh, password you can provide a particular user and you can you can change the password and i'm just going to walk you through the code come to this program.cs and you will have the models created on each method will do each of the actions so this is all code even available from microsoft okay so there is no fancy thing so you need to understand how to access this so you have to read the json file you need to create a confidential client application builder pass in the id tenant id and the client secret just build it using uh, these things you will be able to uh, create an auth provider using the client credential provider and then you can access it using graph service client you just pass in this provider and then there will be an instance of the graph client created and with that graph client you can do all these operations that we just demoed okay i'm just passing the graph client to to different methods like list users and then by using this graph client dot users dot 
request and you can select specific objects like you can you can you can point it out display name id identities you can actually add more items to it okay about me so all the properties that are sitting in azure adb to see right for each user you can query all those information like i said right why do you need this so once you have someone coming in you know if you have an admin page where you are manually resetting it you don't need to go to azure portal and look for a an user and do all these things if you have written this properly in a, a proper web application web api you can actually have your nice ui and control the users you can manage the users using your own application you can also go to the portal and do so but this is how you will access the adb to c users using the graph api all right graph api this is also part of xm az204 so whatever you're learning is always useful for you hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something new about the azure adb to c querying the users data using the graph api if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i'll respond to you thank you thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon